I'm joined now by Big Ten Network's Pat Micheletti. And Pat, you've covered the Gophers all season long. There is a mm. lot of last now. Last practices, last warm-ups, and last game. The Gophers haven't won a national championship since 2003. Haven't made an appearance in the championship final since 2014. There's a lot on the line here. What do the Gophers have to do to win it all tonight? Great question. Um, you know, I, I think you go through the whole year and you, you, you put everything behind you. you. You you have to play in the moment. And the moment is now for this group. And they've been building on it all year long. Um, you know, they, they, they haven't stumbled uh, very much throughout the whole year. They have really, really, really good leadership and Brock Faber and some of the other older guys. And, and, you know, there's no more coaching to do. There's no more, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just get out there and play the way that you're capable of playing. Um, in a one, one game uh, situation, it, you just don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. One bad bounce, one good bounce. Uh, and so uh, just enjoy the moment, play your heart out and, and, uh, and see where it lands. Yeah, one killer defensive team, one killer offensive team, two opposing playing styles in Quinnipiac and Minnesota. What's going to set the tone here tonight? Well, I think you got to be really patient. If you're Minnesota, you have to be really, really patient because um, they're playing against a team that doesn't give you much, and they've got a very, very good goaltender. So you're not going to win it all. You're not going to win the game in one shift. And so you, you just have to keep that in mind and keep grinding it out the, you know, for the full 60 minutes. Um, I think Michigan got in trouble the other night. I think they got frustrated. I think they tried to do a little bit too much. And then you see what happens. Uh, Quinnipiac countered and, and, uh, and burned them. And so um, it, it's just real important that, you know, even if, even if they get down a goal, stay, keep on playing, you know, you got to play the whole game. Um, and if they do that, I, I think, you know, you know, we've talked about it all year. You and I have Anna about, you know, the, the, the talent and the skill that Minnesota has, um, you know, right up there with Michigan. And, um, you know, I think the difference tonight, how, how much you're of a team is Minnesota. I think they are. Um, and so we're, we're just going to have to see how, how it all plays out. Yeah, and you you're down there in Tampa. Have, have you seen the teams? Have you been around them these past couple of days? You know, I I've been lucky enough over my career um, to get to know a lot of these coaches uh, as more than coaches, as friends. And um, um, you know, whether it be you know the Brett Larsons in St. Cloud or Bob Motzko here in Minnesota, and Bob previously in St. Cloud, and so. Um, you know, I, I, I get to go in the locker room before the game and or in the coaches room, I should say. And um, so we, we have our conversation before the game. I'll do the same thing tonight um, and, and talk to them. Uh, but and, and and I've been around the guys, interviewed them and what have you. And, you know, they're they're You know, what I found is uh, they're they're ready. They're they're not looking at this too big or as as too much. Um they love to play the game. They want to win a national championship. They have experience from a year um, a year ago, which I think will help them going into tonight. So, um, you know, like I said, it's got to be played out on the ice. So, you know, we can talk till we're blue in the face about this, that, and the other thing. But, but, but ultimately, I think um, it will be a team that will be ready to play, and um, you know, it should be a fun night. Yeah, it's game time. Thank you, Pat. It was a pleasure. And looking forward to tonight's game. It's going to be a toss-up. I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun.